Come on, Quest. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, Kat here with Quest this morning, and we're getting ready to go out into the field with her to point pigeons in launchers for the first time. So we're gonna be using homing pigeons. Um, they are, for us, a renewable resource because uh, they fly back to the coop when we're done using them. Um, if you don't have access to you know, homing pigeons, you can always use barn pigeons, feral pigeons. Um, they're just not gonna come back to you. But with Quest, we've laid a lot of the groundwork for this um, next step in training through doing a positive pigeon drill with her, um, as well as we've done a bird and gun introduction with her. We've also done her collar conditioning to recall. And she's been out in the field getting to do some free runs with some of our personal dogs. So this, <laughs> there's some pigeons flying around right now that she's actually watching um, because we've been training earlier this morning with some of the other dogs. But... Um, this will be the first time that she's out hunting independently. So there's also some things that I need to do um, to lay the groundwork and set up um, a successful situation for her first training session. First of all, you're tangled on my cord. There we go. Um, first of all, we're gonna be using DT Systems bird launchers. Uh, they're a remote bird launcher, so it will allow me to remotely launch these birds from a little bit of a distance. Um, and uh, that'll be really important for timing because in these first few sessions, um, and we'll just have to gauge how she reacts and how she's doing on pointing, um, I may not be able to get all the way ahead of her to actually flush a bird if it was there. So that remote is gonna be very helpful um, for me to be able to uh, launch the bird at the proper timing as well as I know exactly where these launchers are at. I've set them out um, in specific areas. I don't have little flags or anything marking them. We don't want any visual markers that the dog's gonna key off of. Uh, we want them to be using their noses. So I know exactly where these launchers are, which is important, as well as since this is the first time that she's gonna kind of be out hunting independently, I want her to get on a bird fairly quickly. So we're, we've made a pretty short um, course with the launchers so that everything happens pretty quickly so that she can get on a bird and figure out what she's doing out here in the field. So, like I said, timing is really important in this uh, training session, so I may not be able to explain everything as it's happening, but once we finish up um, with these launchers, I'll take a second to explain what happened at every, <laughs> every situation. You just have some patience. I know, Miss Sassy, you have patience. So she's, she's ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and unclip her and start heading into the field. Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention real quick, I do have my earplugs in. We're gonna see how she does. If we get a nice solid point on any of these birds and she's chasing, I'm probably gonna use the blank pistol. Um, but it again, depends on how she does on these first birds. So I'm prepared in case we're ready for that, so. So she's definitely checking back in with us. Not 100% sure if she should go out and just hunt by herself. So we're gonna just keep encouraging her to hunt, um, not calling her back to us, that sort of thing. So. On this first bird, I'm gonna work her into a crosswind and then hopefully I'll be able to see exactly when she catches scent of that bird. Good girl, good girl. So I'm gonna let her chase on this first one. She didn't chase for too long and she's headed back. So we saw um, as soon as she acknowledged scent, she wanted to go and kind of figure out what that scent was. And she's checking out the launcher right now, which is completely okay. Um, scent recognition is really important. And those launchers hold a lot of scent.
And the reason I popped that launcher right away when she turned and acknowledged scent is because I want her to basically think that, hey, I need to be very cautious when I smell a bird so that I don't overpressure them and make them fly because we want to uh, help develop her natural pointing instinct. So I don't know if you were able to see what happened on that one because she was kind of down over the hill and it was a little bit farther away. But again, she got past that scent cone and turned pretty suddenly and smelled that bird. So then I went ahead and launched it. I'm not expecting her to go out and point every bird on this first time out in the field. So she was headed right at that launcher and I actually want her to work a little downwind and a crosswind so that she's not right on top of that launcher when she smells it because I don't want to launch that bird right in her face because I don't want to cause any negative associations with these birds out here. So. Come on Quest. Good girl, good girl. Hey, we wanted to pause the video quickly to say thank you for watching. We appreciate your support and your views. If you're enjoying this video and want early access to more content like this and other great training opportunities, then you should check out our dog training community on Patreon. Joining the community gives you access to tons of great stuff, including early access to videos like this one, our puppy training basics video, live Q and A videos, Patreon only swag and personalized video responses to your video questions to help you train your dog from home, plus tons of other great stuff. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to you joining our dog training community on Patreon soon. Good girl! Good girl! So she definitely was catching scent, worked in, and we even saw a little more hesitation on that last bird here. She's gonna come back, let her check out the launcher again. Good girl. She's like, yeah, I can smell and point that. Um, like I said, those launchers hold a lot of scent. So letting her come back in, check out the launcher, realize there's not a bird there. Um, is important for her to understand between fresh and old scent. So I'm gonna call her back over to me. Quest here, good. <clears throat> Clip her up. Now a lot of you may say, hey, I thought we were gonna see her pointing her first birds out in the field today. That's um, obviously ultimately our goal, but it's not our expectation when we go to the field for the first time with our puppy. Uh, what we wanna see is, what we want to see is scent recognition and her acknowledging that smell and that's when we see that turn and um, basically acknowledging that launcher. Uh, but I also don't want her to get to bust in on birds and get hit in the face with the launcher. So me launching that um, pigeon sooner rather than later um, is really important because I want her to start thinking that she needs to be very cautious on these birds because if she overpressures them, they're just gonna fly away. And then her natural pointing instinct will come out. Um, on the next session, um, it would be very surprising if she wasn't ready to go out and just slam every bird that we put her on. So uh, we will keep you posted on how her next session goes. Uh, but if you have any questions, definitely let us know. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.